wonderful, lovely tube viewers and welcome to my video about the bike safe course that I did last week. Um, I forgot to record any kind of context or introduction at the time, um, so I'm recording one now. So I got invited to do a bike safe course in London out of the bike shed. It was hosted by Devit Insurance. So other than unsolicited feedback, my riding's been unchecked for 10 years and I know there was things that I've got that I've got to improve on, bad habits that I've picked up, things that I'm just not so sure about and things that I know that I just could be doing better. So it was a nice day. I left at 5.30 in the morning to ride into London. It's my first time riding into London. It was very scary, but we did it. I did the day on Jixi because We'd kind of been dickheads the weekend before and I thought it'd be funny to take Jixi to learn how to behave better. <laughs> so, without further ado, here's how my day went. Oh my god. Got a friendly police motorcyclist behind me. People taking photographs of me. What is going on? I don't like it. No, I'm joking. I'm doing a bike safe course. So he's told me ride how you would normally ride. So I'm going to get arrested. This is the first time I've ever ridden into London. It was horrible. I've never had to filter as aggressively as I have filtered today. Hopefully I don't have to do it in front of my policeman friend. I don't know where I'm going, so I've got to keep an eye on him. And if he starts indicating, that's where I've got to go. No, I really don't want to take the piss, but I could have gone on the other side. What do we reckon? Oh, look at this man. He's showing off, isn't he? Look. Uh, where's the co-op got a bouncer? Are we in a rough area? Am I going to get mugged? <laughs> He's got comms on. He's talking to someone. Who are you talking to? You better not be laughing at me! Oh, I'm the guy, I'm the just overtaking everyone. No, I know! I it's saw! Three police bikes. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, what? Did I go the wrong way? Did I go the wrong way? Did I not notice him? Is the bus driver smoking? Oh, just dropped a fag bat out the... Oh, this is... This is disgustingly posh. Straight over. Come on. Let's overtake these guys. Right, I want to filter, but I feel like it would be disrespectful. Right, left. Right. right, then immediately left. I haven't told him that I don't know my lefts from my rights. What's the speed limit? I'm just going to guess. Probably 40. Where's my mate gone? assume it's a 60. Is it a 60? I don't know. I don't know what that oh it's a fucking 40. <laughs> Where am I going? What? Anyway so expectations from this trip other than to be extremely uncomfortable the entire time because I've got a cop behind me. I'm expecting to improve on things that I know are a problem for me so I have a serious problem with like undue hesitation. I take way too long to think about things and by the time I'm done thinking about it the opportunity's gone so I'm hoping to get some help with that that would be interesting but otherwise so far like with the classroom and everything it's been handy oh he's going to tell me which exit yeah second okay 
Um, yeah, so with like the classroom, it's basically verbalised things that you normally just think about anyway. I mean, you don't really think about it, you just do it. And it's taken those things. Are we going straight over? Yeah. Um, and it's just kind of put them into understandable words. So rather than thinking about it, it's like, this is actually a thing. So now I'm actually thinking about them, which is interesting. Normally I just do them. So it's weird to be thinking about them. But it's quite helpful because you notice when you're not doing it and then you're like, oh, I should have been doing it. And hopefully if I keep doing that, then I will eventually do it. It's also kind of funny because when he indicates, instead of going, oh, thank God he's going, I've got to be like, shit, I've got to go that way too. We're behaving today, Jixi, because we've been dickheads all weekend. You deserve this. This is your fault. Where's my, oh my God, is that? It's like, just ride how you would ride normally. I can't, I can't do it. It's too freaky. He's, he's going to be noticing everything that I do. And I bet he picks so many floors as well. We're talking about road positionings and where you've got to position yourself on the road, approaching corners, and that resonates because I do think about that. But when I'm just riding along, I don't. I just sit where I feel like it, and maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, hello. Straight, yeah. What are you? Bye. He's fucking gone. He's left me. Sean. <laughs> right. Get out the way. Why has he left me? <laughs> I've never been so anxious to lose a cop before, what the fuck? Why? What? Why? Why? Go, oh, what are you doing again? What the shit? they were talking about was doing two miles an hour slower than what you would normally be doing so technically 28 is perfectly acceptable why does he keep overtaking me i'm not going that slow oh, let me stop him. you fucking ditched me stop. Stop, stop. huh stop, stop. Behind the yeah you didn't wait <laughs> if i hit his kill switch how much trouble will i get him I want to overtake, but I'm not going to because I feel like this is a test. Right, we're gonna. Yeah. Oh, all right. Absolute. <laughs> I mean, I think that that overtake was dodgy even for him. He's showing off. No, look at me. I'm a fucking. I oh, fucking. <laughs> that was bad even for you. Thanks for that. Um, I just had feedback and the feedback is that I need to be slightly further to the right I need to be towards the line particularly when I'm going past parked stuff and I need to not sit so close to the car in front and when I approach roundabouts I need to just use whichever lane looks the least cluttered now we're going to do fast roads so I already fucked up one overtake and he he says he didn't fuck it up and it was fine but yeah, it's a little bit close. I 
just overtook where there was a fucking junction and that was the one thing they told us not to do. <laughs> yeah, I noticed when I overtook and he didn't. Can he keep up? Ready? No, do not. Apparently the white arrows on the roads are all lies. And you can just do what you want. And there's anarchy. Hey! Mikey, slow down. You're gonna get us in trouble. Just do what he does, shall we? Right, right over, okay. Even though I did mess them up and it was very, very messy. There were some good corners. Right. I can see that it's clear but it's kind of got a kink in it, so oh. Right, so you sit right in the gutter and then you can see all the way around. because children will open their doors, they don't give a fuck. I'm like thinking about every little thing that I'm doing that I normally wouldn't really think twice about and wondering if actually there's better ways of doing it or if it was safe. Is it like you do... Oh, this is weird. Don't like that. I'm stopping. Oh, bye! Is that? Is this vehicle tax insured? I'm still indicating. <laughs> I think we've reached our lunch destination. Oh, oh, bye. Are we the first ones? That's not good, is it? <laughs> what? No. Why you make me do a fucking U turn? Fuck. I didn't want to record the rest of the day because 
trying to narrate and ride at the same time it was a bit too much distraction I wanted to focus on improving so I didn't record the third part of the day but I think my riding was improving a lot um, and as you can see from the footage I had a really really good time and the feedback that I got was really useful at the end of the course you do get like full feedback and they actually send you like a breakdown of everything that you've gone through everything that you've improved on everything you need to work on that sort of thing so you can read back through it just in case you've forgotten and I noticed immediate improvement on things as the day was going so the police rider that I was partnered up with his name was Sean and he was sitting behind me for most of the time watching what I was doing and kind of he overtook me a lot and it was showing me things that I've missed like opportunities that I've missed and it was like I couldn't see that opportunity but he couldn't he's behind me so I know that I could be improving on this and then we'd stop and we'd go through it all and so there's there's quite a few things that were picked up on so my position in the road can be changed so that I can see a lot further and then I can see where the road is clear, where the road isn't clear, where the good overtakes are and then one thing he noticed is that I fixate on the vehicle in front of me when I want to overtake it and then rather than looking at the road ahead I'm looking at the car in front so I'm never going to get in front of it because I'm not seeing the opportunities. You're doing a tour of the A32, you're going to catch some naughty people. So I learned loads and I've been going out and practicing what I've learned and trying to encourage good habits in my riding. I definitely feel better and I feel safer as well. And I'm glad that I did the day on Jixi, the perfect angel baby. And actually, oddly and unexpectedly good through busy London. I was expecting to have a nightmare and I didn't. Hey, perfectly. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Leave a like or a comment, and please do subscribe. It means the world to me. And I will catch up with you all soon. Bye bye.